this school year. Despite the uptick in COVID-19 cases due to the Delta variant, many teachers are preparing for in-person learning in their classrooms. 25 News Now, Valerie Perez is in studio with us with more about this. Valerie. That's right, Ozzy. So looking into the story, the superintendents, teachers and faculty members we spoke to were not worried about their safety. While some districts are still offering remote learning, others are not. At the end of the day, we need to get back to as much normalcy as we can. Goliad ISD Superintendent Dr. Stacy Ackley says students experienced so many changes last year and too many are now behind. We've seen a tremendous loss in learning with the remote learning for those students that did that. That's one of the reasons that we're not going to offer the remote learning. Cuero ISD Superintendent Micah Dyer created what he calls a strong start plan. It's the only thing we have on there now is we strongly recommend the use of face coverings, but cannot require them to be worn. It is still 100% optional. He held a virtual Q&A session where he addressed mask wearing and elaborated on school safety. If a staff or student wants to wear a mask or a visitor wants to wear a mask, you are more than welcome to wear a mask. That is your right. This year, the Cuero ISD is adding some benefits to remote learning. Students can rent a Chromebook to advance their technology skills. I'm Valerie Perez, KVU-TV 25 News Now.